Hey folks, it's uh, E Chip with Contentment Channel. And, uh, pardon my appearance, I'm out here working in the dirt today. But uh, I want to show you something I found. I, I'm digging uh, for the leach field uh, down slope here uh, from the shouse. And uh, as I was digging, you know, I kept turning up some almost greenish, yellowish looking earth. That's this layer. It doesn't look that way now because it's dry, but that's this layer here, and it appears to go down quite a way. It stops right about there, and it starts right about here. So that's about a foot deep, and you can see how crumbly it is. Uh, but it goes down to about, you can see it goes down to about here, and uh, that's, uh, that's a pretty good clay-like soil and here's some more of it right here you can see how crumbly this is it starts right about here and it ends right about there and uh so that's that's a good thick seam of this stuff it's about uh, four and a half to five feet down and the soils engineer when he came out here to test the soils for the septic system found this um but i thought i'd point it out to you because you can see how it crumbles it's it's a soft clay but it is clay and uh, I took some of it uh, in a jar, shook it up. This is what I got. Uh, it's about 25% clay, which is perfect for making some adobe brick. Now, you may remember from an old video that we did a couple of years ago when we were testing our soil here at Contentment. We took from an area, let me get up here out of the trench. We took from an area up there by those pallets uh, just down slope from them a couple of feet we dug a pit right there uh, you want to watch that video watch us dig that pit and we tested the soil from there and that's up slope about mm, eight or ten feet uh, vertically from this spot but uh, you know we found some soil there it had about 18 percent clay that's got 25 percent clay it's it's far better uh, and so uh, I think we finally found our good brick making soil. Here is a, here's a clay ball I made out of the brick and you can see it's got some cracks, but, um, it looks to be really good stuff. And if we sieve it further, if we, you know, separate it further, we could get some nice, really nice clay slip out of here for slip straw. This will also make really good bricks and it'll also make a good earthen floor. So I'm glad. I think we found our stuff. Only problem is it's in a leach field. <laughs> so I have to get down below the clay layer uh, in this in this leach field, or at least break it up really well so that we can install the uh, septic. Uh, because you know the, you want the stuff to leach down through. You don't want it hitting a hard clay layer and stopping and causing trouble for you. So. We gotta get down there, break it up, do all that kind of stuff. We got quite a bit of stuff to do. As you can see, there's frost and snow and everything here. It's getting cold. And so times of the S is get, getting this thing done. Well, good morning. We uh, got the leach field finished up and leveled. Um, well, at least initially leveled uh, last night and then got to pour a little bit of water on it to help settle down the soil a little bit. We just used a plain old level and, you know, a board for a screed, leveling rake, those kinds of things, nothing fancy. And then we um, just sprinkled some water on it and let it sit overnight. Of course, it froze overnight, so the ground's probably frozen. But that'll, uh, that, that should warm up. I gotta move these chambers down the hill over there to the uh, leach field. I'll just put them in the back of the truck and run down there with them. Can you help me load them, Robert? Are they heavy? No, they're not bad. If you try to lift them all at once, it'd be heavy. They're stuck together. Yeah, we'll get them. All right, let's do it.
Okay, so there it is. Didn't take very long, didn't take much effort. Uh, uh, the stuff really just lays on the ground. It doesn't even snap together in the middle, it just lays side by side. At least that's the way the engineer in our drawing has it. I've seen it where they're separated by quite a bit of ground, but not here. Um, <clears throat> he called for a leach field of 420 square feet, and that's just what this is. Um, so up here, where you see that black box there on the end, that's a distribution box. And the effluent line will come down into this box right here. From there, we'll branch out into each one of these chamber rows, okay? Uh, and, and do it that way. This will form what's commonly known as a header or manifold or distribution setup. Sometimes, and I guess some of it probably depends on code. Sometimes at the end here, you'll have <clears throat> some pipe that will <clears throat> connect all these together and that would be known as a footer. The engineer does not call for that uh, on this setup. At least I don't see it in his drawings and he doesn't mention it. So uh, I guess we just leave these ends capped and, uh, and go from there. The thing I like about the system, of course, with you could do this with any septic system, but if you expand, you know, whatever, add another bedroom or something like that and they require a larger leach field we already have the larger tank but also uh, we could dig out here on either side or maybe just continue this direction someday and add on uh, to this system so that's kind of nice um, anyway that's it next thing to do would be to uh, install that distribution box the rest of the affluent line and the connections to these and then we're almost ready to have this thing inspected you know when i was first told about these chambers i mean i've seen them before uh didn't really understand them but because you know i come from old school where you lay down some perforated pipe put some you know landscape fabric around it or some kind of drain sock or something like that and surround it with gravel uh when I first saw this, I thought, well, this seems like an unnecessary expense when I can just do with pipe and all that kind of stuff. And boy, did I learn because this is so easy. No gravel is required. No drain socks are required. Uh, nothing like that. <clears throat> you simply dig a hole, level it, lay them out and, uh, and go. Next step is to cut these out on these four ends and run our pipe, set, set our distribution box, make sure it's level and uh, um, set well so that it won't shift or move. We, we can run the pipe to it, the affluent pipe from the trench into it, block off two of these holes because I got too many in this box and use the other four for each of these four. Now it's just a matter of waiting for the temperature to rise a little bit so that we can uh, get the glue to cure properly on this pipe and uh, we'll be good to go. Get a little more detail on how these things uh, put together. Um, this is one chamber, it's about four feet long and there are eight of them in this row for a total of 32 all together um, in this particular setup. You'll notice these pins there's a pin underneath here that sort of interlocks and this little uh, part right here hooks you know sort of holds this end cap in place it goes underneath on this end but it goes over top on the opposite end although all these caps are identical uh, and then uh, there is a hole in the top here and on each one in fact where if you want to you can insert an inspection uh, pipe and so that's what the engineers required on this one I have to install one here one on the end over there and then two on the uh, far left and far right ends uh, down there and uh, what that allows you to do is every once in a while you can and, and then of course uh, from uh, this hole a four inch PVC pipe will come will stick above the ground at least one foot 
there'll be a screw cap on it and uh, some vent holes. And every once in a while, uh, you can check on the condition of your leach field in case there's an issue or something's going on or you just want to see what's going on. You'll notice that um, these are louvered. There are louvers here, louvers here. The idea being that, uh, and they're, they're angled this way so that the dirt doesn't fall directly in them, just lays on top, but that the uh, uh, effluent uh, liquids can come out like that and percolate uh, out around the soil. So the idea there is that you, you get full saturation of this field, lots of opportunity for stuff to soak into the ground and be processed. Okay, so one of the things I can do while I'm waiting for the temperature to warm up a little bit is I can add these two one foot extensions to that manhole cover uh, because as you can see, we're below grade here. I have to bring it up to grade. In fact, it's going to stick up a little bit above grade, but that's fine because I'm going to add some earth here. Uh, so that'll work out just fine. And then I have uh, some more extensions over there that I need to add to this manhole cover, but I'm not going to do that yet because I may need to get down inside that hole when I dig this trench and uh, put that uh, drain pipe in. Uh, so I'll wait until after I do that to add these. Let me get these first. Let me get this first one done. Reba, what you doing? Huh? What are you doing? I'm trying to look cute. You, I know what you want. You want some kind of goodie or snack or treat. Don't you? Oh, you know that word, don't you? You just had some, so you have to wait. You just had some. <laughs> Where's your brother? Huh? Where is he? Oh, there he is. Way over there. <laughs> You gonna play? You gonna go play with him? Hmm? We'll play catch a rabbit or something, okay? Starting to look pretty bleak out here. It looks like the weatherman lied and uh, we're not gonna get up to the high we thought we would today. So can't glue anything. In fact, the uh, temperature's dropping and I don't know if you can see it, but there's some light snow falling. So gotta get down there, pick up some tools. It may be a couple of days before we're able to get back to this. They're predicting snow today, tonight, tomorrow. And uh, I don't know when the temperature's gonna pick up again. Well, we're in a hurry to get this done before the temperature drops anymore for the season. I think for the most part, we may be okay until Christmas, but I uh, still wanna get it done, get it inspected. Uh, I don't know if you can see this, but. That red cuff. These uh, these pants are uh, Wrangler jeans, and they're just you know relaxed fit jeans, but they're insulated. It's a good purchase for a day like today. Uh, they keep me at just the right temperature, not too hot on a day like this. 
but uh, any warmer than this if it got up above you know say 35 40 they'd be too hot to wear but got a good deal on them 15 bucks at the local farmers co-op i'm happy with them